So you want to add a barometer to your CC3D. First, purchase the BMP180 sensor package from Adafruit or Amazon. The pressure sensor is accurate to less than 25 centimeters. It will run off of your ESC BEC because it accepts 3 to 5 volts. You will want to hook the BEC 5 volt power to the VN pin and the rest of the pins is labeled. Now over to the CC3D documentation. Here we will see how the pins are on the flexi port of the CC3D. Ensure that you properly connect your BMP180 to the correct wires for the flexi port. Once you have the hardware set up, you'll want to flash clean flight to your CC3D by using the method outlined in the video description. Here is a quad with clean flight flashed onto the CC3D. Now that the cover is removed, you can see the BMP180 plugged into the flexi port and wrapped in foam. Additionally, my satellite receiver didn't seem to work using DSMX on the main port, so I had to switch the PWM on the receiver port. Let's take a look at clean flight. Here's the quad plugged directly into the computer without a battery, like I would for OpenPilot. When I run clean flight, sometimes my computer will not automatically identify my CC3D anymore. To fix this, I just go to Device Manager and scan for new hardware. Now you can see COM6 appear and I connect, can connect to my CC3D. I can already see the barometer is not IDing because Barrow is red on the top right of the application. Furthermore, when I go to the sensor tab, I cannot get barometer data. Okay, so let's disconnect the quadcopter, plug in the LiPo, then reconnect the quadcopter to the computer. Now when I connect, I immediately see that Barrow is green on the top right of the application. Here's what the barometer data looks like in the sensors tab. Keep in mind, like I previously said, it's accurate to 25 centimeters. Stepping over to the mode tab, this is more an explanation of clean flight than how to add a barometer to my CC3D but it might be helpful. To enable the barometer, you make sure one of your aux switches is within the range you set with the sliders. When the switch is there, barrel will be green as you can see on the left side. Now barrel is a secondary flight mode, so you'll still probably want a primary flight mode. In this case, I've made angle my primary flight mode. For descriptions of the flight modes, look for other YouTube videos on clean flight. Coming over to configuration, I just wanted to show you how I needed to use PWM instead of DSMX for my Spectrum satellite. And there's nothing else really here to show. Looking at the receiver, you can see that the CC3D is receiving all of the required signals with the barometer connected. Well, that's all it takes. Fairly simple. Good luck adding a barometer to your CC3D.